For the third time in a week in central Georgia, someone died when their vehicle was hit by a train. But Dodge County's coroner says this case is different from the last two. Ansley Nichols spent the afternoon in Dodge County talking with somebody who actually saw and heard what happened. She joins us live in studio with more. Frank and Lori, I spoke with a neighbor living right by the train tracks where the accident happened. He says he is used to the loud noises they make and the sound he heard today stood out to him. Trains passing by is a familiar sound to Larry Bell. He lives right off Man Row, right next to the railroad tracks. Real loud. Yeah. Real loud. Yeah, three times a day. On Wednesday around noon, it sounded different. I heard a thump. When I looked out the window, I seen the train dragging some down the, the track. Georgia State Patrol says 26-year-old Cassie Bellflower stopped his car on the tracks. A Norfolk Southern train traveling south struck the passenger side of his truck. So I said that guy must have got hit because he was just sitting on the track and he just drug it down and all of a sudden the train stopped. State Patrol confirmed that the truck was dragged down the tracks after it was hit. Dodge County Coroner Joe Smith says the wreck was a suicide. Bell says he knew something was up when he saw Bellflower's car stop directly over the crossing. He was just on the track. He heard the train, the horn, he heard the horn sounding way back in the distance, and he still didn't move. Bell says he was shocked to find out Bellflower allegedly didn't move on purpose. Crazy. You don't go out like that. That's a train? No. That's terrible. And again, this is the third fatal train wreck within a week, the second in Dodge County. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Inslee. Coroner Joe Smith said today's victim was a friend of the Dodge County man who died last week.